Welcome to Brown Critique's presentation of poet author Hiram LaRue and narrator T.A. Niles, offering selected readings from LaRue's 2021 collection, Mud Ajar, published by Atmosphere Press. The poems selected for this reading include in order Hiram reading After All, Uphill, and Succotash, T.A. reading in the next room over, and Hiram reading Smart Dumb, and This If. Hello, I'm Hiram LaRue from Maryland, USA, and I'm so, so grateful to Gayetri and the Brown Critique for hosting this reading of a few poems from my most recent collection, Mud Ajar that was published by Atmosphere Press in 2021. And it's a really big pleasure to be joined in this reading by T.A. Niles of New Mexico, USA, who narrated and produced the audiobook version of Madajar. He'll be reading a poem from the collection. If you'd like to stay in touch, please drop me a line at hlarue at gmail.com or visit my website at hiramlaruepoetry.com. Thanks so much. Um, this first poem was published initially in Ireland's Head Stuff Journal. It's titled, After All. For some reason, you think in a different way when you go outside. It doesn't make any difference if you're in the city or far up in the hills. It doesn't matter if there is time or not, or if it's spring or fall or what you've had to eat. When you step outside from being in, even for just a minute, you think of bigger things, like how to convince someone of what's important after they're gone, or how to get to 300 years from now by hitchhiking, or no matter what kind of moons up there, how you should strive to become more and more like butter. I think because that poem references the moon, it was reprinted in the 2022 Lunar Calendar by Luna Press. This next piece was first published in Clock Radio Magazine. And it's about that wonderful mystery we call appreciation. Uphill. If asked what the most beautiful sight on earth is, I'd probably say that it's the feeling of a blanket half covering bare shoulders in spring with a drizzling rain outside. That is surely one of the most important loves to live through. I think I'd also have to say that whatever I don't understand is really lovely in the hungriest sort of way because it makes me pedal uphill, especially for the kind of soup or bread I've come to crave. And 
to be honest, I'd also have to admit what I've known all along, that for something to really float or glow or leave love in me, it has to be out of place in an understood only afterwards sort of way. This poem was written with all of the challenges we've been facing in recent years and with headlines in mind. It's titled Succotash. My country, so poly, so jack of all trades and confetti this yard sale of nations with ditches of weeds and cornfields split open. The tar in my whistles, my country, the talons and scars over oozing. The sparklers, my country, that wake up but ransack what happened, and broad beans that dazzle the mud. My country, all arrows shot heaven with swearing. My country, in sparrows gone haywire and hobo. The screen doors to wisdom slammed shut and gone off to with maps left behind. My country, these blackboards of silence and misspells. My country, my country, so flies over pie. The following poem, In the Next Room Over, was first published in Hedge Apple. It has special significance for me because my mom passed away in April 2021, and this poem just touches me at my core. In the Next Room Over. I'll bet you what ever you want, that she won't make it through the night. And that's not being dreary, that's just being honest. So anything out loud she says, pay attention to. But especially do, if you hear her coughing, or if you smell doom in the hay or hear water gushing down drains, because she's preparing. Trust me, long, long ago, when things were as simple as that finger in your ear, she was a goddess, like smoke is in fall. She was as pure as poured milk or the fullest of apples. That was then. Now, the situation is a gaspy fish, and the need to avoid and look away is deeply with us. But oh, would you just look here at this little frame? <laughs> There we were once, posed under a tree, lined up like sparrows. She was the robin. 
So I tell you this with my heart for my throat. A cool, damp word is the least and most we can do for her now. And this next poem first appeared on the Vox Poetica site, and I read it lovingly in another voice. It's titled Smart Dumb. She was born inside out, the size of a heavy orange. And the story goes that she was wobbly from the very start. Even as a little girl, she was so smart and so damn dumb together. That's the way sometimes. Well, wouldn't you know that dead solved the problem? The full story isn't important. But what is, is that at about 19 or so, she fell jaw drop in love with someone who just wouldn't, couldn't, and didn't. Someone like too close to a fire. Yes, with those kind of eyes. And the thing was, there was no one in her at all, not any. And oh my goodness, the rumors were rich enough to live on. But here's the thing, really. She ended up like a tree toppled over with all her roots up in the air. Hers was a big sideways life that just never really got started. And of course, she's gone now, but is wholly famous. That's what starting out with too many wants will do in an all or nothing sort of way. So the lingering question is this, is it truly best to leave nature alone or to invite it in for a chat over dinner. This poem is the last one in the collection. I like to think of it, of course, as a closing, but really a closing that is an opening. It's titled, This If. I fly myself far as can be, as windows do or doors beyond, this reaching sky, these trees of all that's gone or coming to and rounded beams. I fly as how open is and porches swing up to towards each rhyme undone to tell a fill and full where blue is now. I fly this if, but also more. Where clouds love rakes or fields are curls to forever wear, or halos fling my scattered bursts this day that rings. We hope you've enjoyed these readings from Mud Ajar by poet author Hiram LaRue and narrator T.A. Niles. You can dive more deeply into the world of Mud Ajar and Hiram LaRue at HiramLaRuePoetry.com. Well, hello there. Thank you so much for stopping by. 
and watching this video on our Brown Critic channel. We'd really appreciate and really love it if you watched all our other videos and liked them. Make sure to subscribe to the channel as well. Stay well, take care of yourself and until the next time, bye for now. Thank you.